live here at the Legacy of Destruction Regional. My goodness, of Fort Worth, Texas. Nine runs of Swiss, 360 players with Whoa, please introduce yourself to the world. My name is Cody Thomasite. I, I did back to back tops in, Dal in Dallas with two different decks and um, played a new deck today. I went X1, think I'm top four, not quite sure. P pairing's not posted yet. Okay, X1, what deck, man? Uh, you Bell. You Bell, what made you decide to use this deck post uh, game? So. All the new cards were really, really crazy, and um, the guy right next to me convinced me, as well as Denny Vu told me to play it today. So I didn't play. I didn't do any testing with it. I just sleeved it up, wrote it up, and brought it today. That's what's up. Any shoutouts before we begin? Yes, I've got a few. First of all, shoutouts to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for dying for my sins and for the sins of, of my kind to get into heaven. Shoutouts to the boys I rode with, my special counsel, the man who really built the whole deck. He just showed me all the text. Juan, the GOAT. Shout out to Justin for driving. That's the, all the boys, all the Oklahoma City, old Oklahoma City boys. Uh, Denny Boo, Eric Bowie, if you know, you know. Uh, my parents for always being very supportive of me in the game, never telling me to quit, always telling me to keep going. And um, other than that, portal for the profile. Here we go, that's great. Without please show us the top eight goons. All right, it is uh, 42 cards, best number. We're going to start out with uh, the engine. It's three Samsara Lotus. Three Spirit of Ubel, three uh, two regular Ubel, one Terra Incarnate. For that's it for like, and then three of new Unchained Soul of Sharvara. This card is really the best card in the whole deck. Just a free extender. It's two bodies by itself. It can dodge Imperm on Spirit of Ubel. It's not during the main phase, the special, so you can do it in the battle phase to kill people and play around Nib. Uh, great extender all day. This gets every back row minus the field spell in the deck. This is just Lone Fire for Spirit of You Bell, and then sometimes the, the Monster Negate comes up if you uh, whittle them down on resources. And then these are like the soft bricks in the deck. This is the really bad brick. This is like manageable, but it's still not ideal. And that's it for the Monsters of the You Bell. For the supporting cast, it's three Dark Beckoning Beasts and the one Shravara. It's the fourth copy of Grave Scrummer. Uh, spoilers, I am playing Yama in the deck. This card is fantastic. Just opening it by itself is uh, Rage, Yama, and uh, Escape back, or Chamber set back row off of one card. Or um, a Spicy XT's monster that I put up in the deck to protect combos. I'll show that later. For, that's it for the engine monsters. For the engine spell cards is three Nightmare Throne. Uh, one Terraforming to go with the Nightmare Throne. This is the real reason I wanted to play the whole deck. It fixes so many core problems with the deck. Um, the fact that it can just destroy from the deck if you need to get a free U-Bell body on the board to just start putting the field up, to start extending. And then the fact that this can float into any of the U-Bells by going a level up, adding it to your hand and summoning it, helps you kind of play into um, boards. The standard combo uses this effect as the to put up two bodies to be able to go into Yama early. Uh, this field spell is fantastic. Um, people had to read it and uh, people had to f didn't know that it could summon from banishment. Because I had a Melodious player try to banish um, my Terror out of Graveyard, so I just added it back, summoned it. But uh, this is the real reason I wanted to play the deck. This field spell is phenomenal. And this was an easy side out all day. For the rest of the engine spells, it's three Nightmare Pain. The real best card in the whole deck. Uh, just Diagram, pop a Dark Monster, search for a card that mentions Ubel. Uh, while it's on the board and you have a Ubel monster, your opponent is locked into attacking that mo uh, Ubel monsters and they take all the damage you take. So this is how you OTK people really, really quick. Because if they put up a 3k body, they're going to lose to two U-Bell monsters. Uh, two Spirit Gates. You don't want to open this one. You really want to open um, Beckoning Beast because this isn't two bodies by itself without playing a bad extra deck monster. Uh, three effects. Uh, searches the Beckoning Beast. Um, discard, you can discard a card, summon a Fiend from the hand or from the graveyard with 0-0 zero, zero, so it can get all the U-Bells and literally the everything else. And then the graveyard, the field, the other effect is if you have a level 10 monster, you can add a continuous spell from your graveyard to your hand to just keep hand advantage for discards for super poly, get back nightmare pains if they outed it early, and then I just got ogred like quite a few times today, and I don't know why they didn't save it for nightmare pain. Uh, Mature Chronicle. This was Juan's uh, main force to make me play the uh, main inclusion for the main deck. This thing has five effects. It's very, very good. Uh, it's like kind of like Gateway of the Six, to where whenever you bail or a monster that mentions it is special summoned on either field, I can put a counter on it. First counter is summoning you bail from the graveyard. It has to be the regular you bail. You can't summon like any of the other ones. 
The second one is remove two, banish, add a banish card from your from the banish pile to your hand. The third effect, banish a card from your deck, that never comes up. Um, fan, removing four counters, uh, dis non targeting, destroy a card in the field, comes up against Melodious, which I played two today. And then searching Super Poly at, some, at number five made people play very strangely because they knew I had it. Uh, I loved this card. This card was beautiful. Helps you play through Niv, too. Helps you play through Niv very well. Also helps you put up the full board. And then the one eternal favorite, I sided it out every day, every game. This card didn't really do anything for me. It's kind of just there as a free search for Spirit during the during their turn. The one chamber for the Shavara, um, I misplayed against Fire, uh, the Fire King Snake Eye deck. My only loss because I didn't Shavara set this to keep myself alive to make the Super Play alive. Other than that, this card's fantastic. Just sometimes summoning Yama to get a card back to your hand to be able to keep playing for discards is the, good enough. The real best card in the whole deck. I was not going to play this today. And then he told me at like 3 in the morning, you're going to lose if you don't play Super Poly. He was right, so I played Super Poly, and this card was disgusting all day. Um, I beat a Voices player in time because I Super Polyed him on his turn to burn him with the U-Bell Fusion. Uh, beats uh, Voiceless, it beats Melodious really good. It helps you play into Branded really well, too. Being able to search it, people are not ready for that. So that's like a very greedy line, but it does do the job. And then for like the non-engine that are actual non-engines, uh, three nib, snip's good. Sometimes it's good as a standalone, but oftentimes it's better with another another hand trap. But there are a couple games where I nib somebody and they pass like the melodious players, because it's a uh, just a good hand trap. Uh, this was a gut decision. I played three ogre today in the main. I was respecting Tenpai, the Mirror, more and Voiceless more than the other decks. So this comes up in the Mirror very well. You pop the Nightmare Pain. Uh, I ogred plenty of Skull Guardians to force the, the Ritual Spell in the Graveyard. Uh, ogring Nightmare Pain helps you win that Mirror match. Good Hand Trap. Not good against Brandon, but oh well. Uh, three Imperm, solid. And then my last two cards are just two Talents in the main. Comes up, they're easy sides. I'm really happy with the main deck. 42 cards in the main. Uh, for the extra, the One Rage, standard. The SP Little Knight, standard. Where did it go? Uh, Mugraker, I used this card a lot today, just because, uh, like my last round, I made Mugraker after I made a, uh, a Yama because I had the Nightmare Paint up, put up two U Bell names, crashed the Mugraker into his uh, Dragos Topalia, used Yama to summon a third uh, U Bell name and killed him. Good recursion. I made Dark like once today, does come up. Made this a lot today, it gets voiceless. Because if you get the if you get the ritual spell out of the graveyard and you use this to make access code, they can't use the the ritual spell to flow into another one. Game card. There's only like one attribute that you can really use with this, so it's mainly just a hail mary. Apo, very good on the end board. I got evenly for seven by Branded, and I kept this, and he passed. Uh, the two Yamas. Uh, the fact that you can put this back in the extra deck with um, uh, Mature Chronicle comes up a lot in the grind game. You never need the third one. I didn't miss any of the links today. These were all fantastic. And then for the Exceeds, uh, the new Baron. This thing is um, Baron plus Unchained Abomination on a stick. It's uh, three effects. It needs two level 10s. Uh, Omni negate by detaching a material. Then at the resolution of the chain, you can detach a material. Sorry, resolution of the effect, you can detach another material and non target pop. At the start of the damage step, if this attacks a monster while it has materials, uh, if it attacks while it has material, you non target pop a card on the field. And if it, if this you see some of the card is destroyed, you can non target pop. This is how you play through Melodious, this is targeting protection. This thing is a house. It's the only reason I would play this deck because this Omni negate is a clean board. Um, I don't need to go anything else. This card's really good. But this is my tech, uh, Gin Buster. So if you have like Nightmare Throne or Nightmare Pain that you want to resolve and you have the, the Beckoning Beast Engine, a lot of times I'll go Beckoning Search Continuous, Continuous Search another Beckoning, and then I'll Extra Normal. Make this so that way the Nightmare Pain resolves and, or the Nightmare Throne. And it's a Fiend, so if you need to, you can like Rage put it back, or it's a Fiend, so you can Special, you can special um, Squirmer with it while it's on the board. What well, did not regret this card today? I won a game in time because I burned it for five with it. Did not regret it today. For the fusions, it's literally three super dollar targets. Uh, this is a good card. I love this card. I've won, I beat two players in time with this card today. Uh, you burn for 2k, which is a lot. Can't be shown by card effects, so that matters too. So I did it today where I Nightmare Pain popped it, and because it 
would mark it for destruction. I still got to search with it. Great. You can also summon it back once you properly fusion summon it. Uh, more burn damage. And then last two, last two, two, two targets. This is how I've won against Fire King Snake Eye. Round two, because I super polyed in both games, made this, so his princess wasn't alive. So I just called Dark, he couldn't do anything. And the side, I'm bad at side deck, so... Uh, there's like one, there's th three cards in here that never mattered. Uh, Ash for Branded Hates, and weirdly good against Melodious because they have their own Branded Fusion. Uh, the Beast Jewels, they're okay. They don't really do a lot against Melodious, but against Branded or the Mirror, they do kind of do the job if you know how to Beast Jewel. Sorry about that. But brought them in just against those matchups. They're not really good at Ring into Fire anymore because the decks changed those pivot lines. Uh, three Droplet, this card was insane. Uh, I beat a Tempai player under Skill Drain because he went to attack my Yama with a level 7 and I dropped it and damage step and he was, out of, he was out of life at that point. Just played three back row hate cards. I never brought him in once today. They were there. Like, gotta respect Rogue. It's three Skill Drain. Uh, Tempai can't play under it. A lot of decks can't play through it. You can keep floating with your guys. If you have Nightmare Pain, you can kill them through it. Sided in every game I went first. This is like the most sided card all day. Well, that's the deck. Thank you, Bortle. Thank you. Until next time.